Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to beautify your table. We shall have our previous table. If you are watching this video without my previous video, I request you to go through my previous video and watch that video one because I have explained every line in detail. Okay. Uh, before we uh, beautify this table, uh, say if I want the content of the second column to be left justified or right justified so we'll leave third column as well left justify or right justify the first column you just had to instead of centering here you make it as r a g g e d rugged right rugged right okay if you give the, give the command rugged right if this is rugged right the content of the column will be shifted to left okay and if you want this to be at the right then you have to give this as left rugged left will shift this content to right okay if you want this to be at the center make it as c e n t e r sorry it is c e n t e r i n g it is centering okay center has a different meaning which i will uh, explain you in later videos fine now if i want this column to be shifted to left or right you can do it so for that so this column corresponds to what in my code so this this in my code. you just remove everything we don't want this greater than and the parenthesis symbol now you remove everything make it as l if it is l the content of this column second column will shift to right and if if it was instead of l if you make it as r now it will shift to right similarly if you want to control the third column you just remove this entire thing greater than and backslash right and now you make it as l now the content of this column is shifted to left and if you make it as r the content of the third column will be shifted to right okay and so on you got the idea right now let me uh, beautify this table say i want two lines here one more line here uh, totally two line and one more line here okay so that the table looks nice so these vertical line corresponds to where in our code it is this one this vertical line right corresponds to this this vertical line right corresponds to this the third vertical line corresponds to this and the fourth vertical line corresponds to this now i want two lines here and here at the border of the table right so i give one more pipeline symbol here and one more pipeline symbol at the end now if i compile this so i get to see two vertical lines similarly if you want vertical lines at the top and bottom so which cur which uh, what is it i need to do so so this horizontal line at the top corresponds to this in our table right so now i'll give one more h line horizontal line now if i compile this i'll get to see one more horizontal line okay now if you need one more horizontal line at the bottom so bottom horizontal line corresponds to the last one H line. You give one more horizontal line, right? Now, if you want actually one more horizontal line, so that you can separate the title of the column and everything else, so it is here, right? Backslash H line. Uh, now the title of the table got separated with the content of the table. Okay, this is how we you, uh, we can e easily uh, beautify our table according to our requirement, so that your table looks formal and attractive. 